Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, using the scroll controller, I'm going to explain how we can create tap to scroll kind of activity. You can observe here, we have two different lists, one at the bottom and another at the top here. When I tap on this number four, my list will scroll automatically and that specific color container will appear at the top of the list. And when I just move here, for example, let's say want to list number, say item number eight. When I tap here, again, my list will scroll up and that specific color container will scroll at the top. And let me just go back here and when I tap say number two, so that specific color container will uh, be scrolled at the top. So let's understand how we can create this kind of uh, activity using the controller. For the sake of simplicity, I will divide this video in total three sections. Section number one is for creating this vertical list. The second is for creating this horizontal list. And in the third, that is in the last section, I will explain how we can make this one as interactive so that it will scroll automatically when we tap on these numbers. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's understand our initial code. Uh, we have here a method.dartpl imported. Then we have a class that contains simply a constructor here. In order to have some fancy look for the application, I have defined a list of colors that contains 10 different colors. Then in order to have each container with a fixed height, we have defined here a final that contains the height with the 300 pixels here. Then we have build method containing a scaffold. Scaffold has got some simple app bar here. We can see here. Then as a body of this scaffold, uh, we have a column. And I have divided this column in two different sections. The first one is for horizontal list and another is for the vertical list. Now let me explain the first part of this video and that is simply creating the vertical list here. So for this, I'm going to use list.builder and obviously as we want list.builder inside this column, our list view must be placed inside the expanded widget. So let's write here expanded widget and as a child of this one, I will use here say list view.builder. And as we know, uh, list.builder requires total two things here. So let me write that two things. The first one is obviously item count. And uh, the item count must be exactly same as the number of colors that we have. So let's write the colors dot length. That's fine. And we need the item builder. And as we know, item builder needs two different parameters. One is the context. So let's write the context. And another one is the index. Let's write the index. Now, from this item builder, I'm simply going to return the container. So let's write the container. And inside this container, I'm simply going to write only a few lines here. The first one is the height of this container. So uh, height of this container must be same as the container height that we have defined as the final variable. And as a color of this one, let me use the different colors from our color list. So let's write here, say colors of specific index. So that will have all the colors here. So let me format the code. Let's save here. And you can see we have got this nice vertical list. Now let's move on to the second part and let's create the horizontal list. So for this, first of all, let me take a container here. And inside this container, I'm going to decide height of this container. So let's decide the height of this container as say 50 pixels. So let's write here height is 50 pixel. There needs to be some margin uh, from the top and bottom. So we can write here agencies dot symmetry. So let's write here symmetry. And of course I need uh, the vertical symmetry as the 16 pixel. And obviously it needs to be in the form of constant. So let's write here constant. Then as a child of this container, what we need, we need the horizontal scrolling list. So again, we need the list view dot builder here. And of course, again, inside this builder, we need two different things here. First one is the item count. Here, again, item count is exactly the same as the number of colors. So let's write here colors dot length. Um, as item item builder here, uh, what we need is we need again a container. So what I'm going to do here, let's uh, inside this item builder. <laughs> okay, don't forget here to write context. Then index. Now from this, again, I'm going to return a container. So let's write here container. Here, this container must be having, say, height, say, of say, 50 pixel. Obviously, height is not required here. It's optional. And we need to define here as a width. So I'm going to write here width of again 50 pixel. Then this container must have a color. And the color of this, again, exactly means this color has to be the same color uh, from that list here. So let's write here index. That's fine. And what do we need? We need a number inside it. So again, we need to have a text here. I'm going to write here, say, dollar index. Obviously, it's going to start number from zero. First of all, let me test this UI. Okay, how it's going to look on the screen. So we have missed out a very important line, and that is the scroll direction. So the first scroll direction has to be here, say, axis dot horizontal. So let's save here, and now we can see we have got this uh, nice scrolling. Means we have got this horizontal list here. Now, what thing is missing here is we need to have a margin. So this margin has to be say eight is dot symmetry, and there has to be horizontal a margin of sixteen pixel all around the side. Obviously, it needs a constant here. So let's write here const. Let me format the code and let's save here. 
that's again nice now you can observe your number is not starting from one so it has to start from uh, one okay it's, it has started from zero so here what we can do we can simply add one to this index so let's add a one inside this index so that's fine again these numbers are not in center in order to make it in center so what you can do we can write here a concept called alignment so let's write here alignment dot so center so that number will appear in your center and yeah if you have observed my ui so all these number are there in a white color so let me make your white color inside this by using this style for the text so let's write here the text style now for this text style what i'm going to do simply i'm going to use your color so for saying it's color so let's write here say colors dot white again yeah, that will look quite nice and let's increase some font size so let's write your font size and i'm going to use a 22 pixel font size here again it is asking me to write a constant here so let's write a constant save the code and you can see now we have this uh, specific ui ready with us so we can scroll here in horizontal direction and we can scroll in vertical direction but when i tap here nothing is going to happen now let's move on to the last part of this video and that is making this horizontal list interactive so that when we tap list has to scroll automatically for this we need a controller so let's write the final and let's use scroll controller and I'm going to name this as a underscore scroll controller. So right here is equals to scroll controller. Now the scroll controller must be attached with this vertical list view. For this, what we need to do, we need to scroll at the bottom and inside this list loader builder, we have to write here a controller and let's write here say underscore controller. So this is going to link that controller with our uh, specific list view so that this list view can be scrolled. And now let's come at the top. So what we need to do, we need to make these uh, boxes that is the uh, container and the horizontal list view as the interactive. And in order to make that interactive, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap uh, this specific container inside the inkwell. So let's write here wrap with inkwell. So let's write here inkwell. And when we wrap it inside inkwell, we need to define a method called on tap. So inside this on tap, what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a method, my own method. I will name this method as say um, scroll to tap. So let's write here scroll to tap. And inside this method, I'm going to pass the specific index that we have got here. So let's pass this index here. Now it's time to define this method and all the magic that uh, is happening for the scrolling. Okay, this uh, means I will perform that one inside this method. So let's come at the top here. So before this method, uh, means uh, before this build method, I'm, I'm going to define this method. So let's write here void, then underscore uh, scroll to tap. Inside this, I'm going to define say index. Let's write here in index, or you can say it's a scroll index. And I'm going to write only uh, one line here, and that line is say uh, underscore control controller dot animate to so that I'm going to animate that one. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to animate it to specific position. So, what I'm going to animate here, so I'm going to use index value here. So, let's write an index, multiply this index by the container height so that it will scroll automatically for that specific container or specific index here. And now, as a duration, uh, I will use say some second, or let's use some say millisecond. So, I will use here say. 500 milliseconds that will be fine and for the curve we can use your say curves dot c easy in that's fine let's write here easy in that's fine huh? let's put the semicolon and it's time to format the code obviously uh, we need to pass a const here so let's write your const now let me format it again save here and let me test my final code here so let's tap on the four okay it's scrolling nice let's tap on some different numbers say nine okay it's scrolling it's quite nice Let's tap on the uh, 5 here. Okay, great. Let's tap on the 1 and we are good to go here. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.